Hey everybody, I'm Phil Presig with Upbound. I'm excited to be here today to talk with you about composing your own cloud APIs with Crossplane to eliminate infrastructure bottlenecks and deliver your apps faster. So going from dev laptop into production um, is kind of riddled with hurdles that you have to overcome, um, including infrastructure bottlenecks where you often have multiple tools and management models glued together in imperative pipelines. Um, that are hard to master, um, kind of the interactions and failure modes between them, as well as having inconsistencies across your dev, staging, and prod environment that make it difficult to get apps um, into production. And then also when you're creating bespoke configs for the first time, uh, security issues can often creep in without anybody realizing it. Um, and having a secret distribution when you're using ticket ops can often be insecure. Um, and so those are challenges that all need to be solved. So it's not surprising that with all this going on, that conflicting issues are often found at deployment time, requiring the entire cycle to be restarted from the beginning. Um, and if you have to do that multiple times, um, that can add significant amounts of delay into your process of getting an app into production. So what are we looking for? Um, we have cloud providers with hundreds of thousands of APIs out there today, um, with Google portals on top. That basically, you can click around to get the cloud infrastructure you need. Um, and to get something a little bit more reproducible, we've seen you know, infrastructure as code tools um, added into imperative pipelines that are triggered on a git commit. And that's definitely a step forward, but with multiple tools being glued together and then also gluing in the Kubernetes resources, um, you know, it's, it's difficult to kind of manage um, the interactions of those and the different state representations. There's a lot of moving parts and um, kind of the impedance mismatch on um, kind of the the management philosophy or the management model um, of each tool. So what we've seen is that um, you know, people want a more integrated cloud native declarative management approach that mirrors what Kubernetes does for the core resources for deployments and services. And we've seen a set of service operators come onto the scene um, that basically bridge the low level uh, cloud service APIs into uh, the Kubernetes API and effectively provide the assembly language of infrastructure into your Kubernetes environment. But there's still a lot of um, you know, infrastructure details you have to be aware of in terms of how to stitch these resources together um, and to make them secure. And so there's, there's still a lot of challenges left there. Um, so you might say, hey, forget infrastructure entirely. We're just gonna go with the platform as a service. And those tend to be very vertically oriented around the vendor stack. Um, they might not be as flexible or customizable as you might like. So what we're really looking for is the ability to compose our own platform um, from the cloud service primitives that are available um, and provide that in a team-centric environment that reduces the friction of taking the app from dev laptop all the way through into production. So what if you could have consistent APIs across your dev staging and prod environments that have your best practices and security policies baked in um, and you can do all of this without any code um, just using idiomatic Kubernetes YAML so that your um, app teams can just keep control, apply the infrastructure that they need, um, eliminate the infrastructure bottlenecks, avoid security pitfalls, and deploy their apps faster. And do all of this with a unified Kubernetes resource model um, and the ability to use that with GitOps, your pipelines, or anything that works with the Kubernetes API. So what we're gonna look at today um, is how you can provision um, a Postgres SQL instance with a resource claim, you know, using your existing tools and workflows that basically provisions a composite Postgres SQL instance um, that's composed of multiple cloud service primitives from the cross-plane AWS provider um, to dynamically provision that um, in your team workspace. All right, so to dive in, we're gonna go and log in here to Upbound Cloud, um, which is powered by Crossplane, and we're going to the user console of AcmeCorp and it'll prompt me to pick a platform in our workspace. We can see that we have a custom cloud console specifically for my team and my dev environment. And I'm gonna go and provision a Postgres SQL instance from the UI here. I'm gonna call this awesome DB. And then it lets me pick some additional settings. I'm just gonna accept the defaults. And that's up and running and provisioned. Now, next what I'm gonna do is provision um, an additional database from the CLI uh, by connecting my cube control to this environment. And so I already have my access token. And so I'm just gonna grab these three commands. 
and that will basically set up the context for my cube control for dev team one. And then with that, I can go ahead and provision an additional database. I'm using this Postgres clam. We can see here that the Postgres claim is very straight ahead. It just has the same fields that I got in the UI and it lets me provision that right away. And then I can go ahead and do a K get claim. And that will show me the same exact thing that I can see in the UI here in my custom code console. Um, and then that's basically um, still being provisioned. So we go over here to RDS and refresh we can see that it is in fact creating those resources. So you might ask yourself, you know, how is all of this magic possible? And so what we're using here is the AWS reference platform for Kubernetes and data services um, in the upbound uh, org. And what we've done is basically gone through um, using this in the quick start for running your own internal cloud platform, installing this configuration package and the simple thing that um, we do um, for defining an API um, is this file here. So half of it's the UI metadata that defines the fields in the UI that you saw in the provision. And the other half of it is the API schema that gets passed in. So this is the, effectively the API definition, what we call a composite resource definition or an XRD. And then if you look at the composition, um, here we're able to compose um, two cloud service primitives, a DB subnet group and an RDS instance, and then parameterize that with patch overlay. Um, and this is actually what ended up provisioning the resources um, in AWS here. Um, and then that basically surfaces up um, to our custom cloud console, as well as our CLI. So what we just saw was provisioning a PostgreSQL instance using our existing tools and workflows from the self-service APIs that were published by our platform ops and SRE team that was built with a composition of cloud service primitives from the Crossplane AWS provider. So to learn more, check out Crossplane IO for our CNCF open source project, which is targeting 1.0 by the end of the year, um, or Upbound IO, which is the fastest way to get started with Crossplane. And we have a couple of talks at KubeCon 2020, so I would love to talk with you. So drop by and say hi. Um, and also all of this new reference platform support that we just saw today is launching November 10th, 2020. So check out this link and uh, we're looking forward to talking with you. Thanks.